All right, now next, bluegrass and blues. See, we did like major key bluegrass okay. and not with a strong emphasis on blues. Okay. Now, okay, remember this. I'm kind of thinking pentatonic scale by making believe this is a fret. Where's my, what's my minor root here? Uh, F sharp. What's this note? Oh, um, E string. The open E string. The open E? Yeah, yeah. My, the two roots, right? If we make believe this is a fret, okay. this is my major root, this is my minor root, but that's the open string. You're right. Okay. Got it? Okay. So now, remember what I said about blues. You take, like, like an E7 chord we're going to use, right? But I have to play not an E major pentatonic, an E minor pentatonic. Well, that's the same exact shape, E minor. Okay. I'm losing you, I can tell. Major, minor, major, minor, major, minor, major, minor. I'm, I'm sorry. Minor, major, minor, major, minor, right. major, minor, major. This note is not a note. It's the right. E string. Okay. There's no fret there. Right. We're just doing that to demo how the shape came about. Right. Okay. All right. So where am I losing you? You, uh, you tell no, me. No, no, no. It's a, in, and now what you just said makes sense now. And I said earlier, let's go back up here to the key of A. And I said earlier... Here's our A minor pentatonic, and even though A7 is ostensibly a major chord with an extra bobble on it, is all. Mm -hmm. I'm saying for the blues, the blues rule is you play minor against that major. So we have an A7 chord <laughs> to get that blues sound. Okay. If it was major, all right, not as spicy. Yeah. Okay. Now, if I have an E7, I have to play E minor. Well, this scale is E minor, G major. Those are the two roots, okay, E, e right. minor, G major. So I play my E7. All right. This is the blue note. One of the conventions is you bend it. Okay. Another one, so you can't bend this one here. Right? You have to push that. How so many what, manual cut? Okay. Yeah, and, and, and uh, Monty Montgomery. <laughs> so what some guys do is that to, to kind of imply the major minor shift. Oh, there. okay. I see. Okay. Right? Okay. So no, but this is done a lot. Uh, I forget what, I forget how to do it these days, but a spoonful. Oh. Alright, starts off with that, okay? okay. So that's a common technique first off in blues. But remember, we use... Now, the only place where you where it really would add major or imply major is on the minor note G, G, G string, G. So what you do is, to, this is the minor note, this is the... There's a... Th from E7, there's G, G sharp, which is the actual major note that the E7 chord is constructed by. So. That's G sharp. This is G right here. But if I okay, if you don't spend the same no, you don't spend a whole lot of time on it. Yeah. Now, now I also use major. All right, I mix a major pentatonic and a minor. Here's major. Or okay. All right now, because it's bluegrass, I can actually use the major and the minor. See that? Minor major. Right. Now I'm gonna switch. Now it's no minor kind of time. This is tricky, all right? This is a blues rule. My, my overall uh, master root chord is E7, all okay. right? Now I play typical blues chords, one, four, and five dominant sevens. That would be E7, A7, and B7, correct? Right. Now, here's the thing. 
Against E7, A7, or B7, I could play my E minor pentatonic. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> Not a sour note in it. Then. Right, it's yeah. all very bluesy and, and spicy the way blues is, okay. right? But if you want to use a major pentatonic, it can't go flow across all three chords. This is a very important rule I always teach my students. If you want to use major pentatonic, you can use E major for the E7, A major for the A7, and B major for the B7. That means you'd have to know all three of those shapes, pentatonic scale shapes. Okay. So I like to, this is very good like sliding. Sliding E major pentatonic scale, sliding A, and the sliding B. And this is a whole different sound, though. I mean, yes, yes. Enormous difference. Yeah, I'll play through all three chords using minor first. stress the major on all three. In that case, against E7, A7, and B7, I play just the minor pentatonic. That is the blues rule. You're allowed to do, use the same scale against all the chords. Okay. Right? But you can also use one scale per chord if you shift to the major. Right? Okay. So... like an Orange Blossom Special, Wabash Cannonball would be examples of that, where you're playing, ma yeah. you're, you're playing yeah. major scales. Right. And so, some of these bluegrass guitar guys are pretty damn good? They're totally amazing. These guys yeah. have nothing to do but sit around and play guitar on their French porch, you know, yeah. uh, <laughs> a hickory stick in their mouth, you know, <laughs> saying, yep. Um, they don't live, well, some of them live in the big cities. Yeah. I saw Doc Watson.